See, you already trying to do weird stuff. <laughs> Let me tell you what you need tonight. A little something to whet your that. appetite. And it's going to make you feel all right. Sweet gravy and Carmen Kirk. Check them out as they go to work. C -c Congratulations on your new podcast. Now open up a cannibal bass and blast, blast, blast. And I hope you like this show. Wow. Wow, yeah. Ooh, Carmen, welcome back to another episode of Sweet Gravy. Thanks for being here. Oh, you're welcome. It's uh, <coughs> the air conditioner's office is getting uh. It's gonna be hot. Yeah, so humid. It's five hot. minutes. I can see hot. the sheen coming off you, and we just turned off the machine. Mm -hmm. So we got a little portable unit, and it just goes in the window. But it's like <laughs> sounds like a hurricane in here. Mm -hmm. So I don't mind it at all. You don't mind it, the noise? The, no, because it's cool in here. Like uh -huh. nobody. I've been hot since six o'clock this morning. Uh huh. It's nice and cool. Um. But sometimes you try to like watch stuff, and I'll like wear the, like the headphones whenever I like watch something with the air conditioner on. Mm -hmm. But you just turn the TV up way super loud, and it's like yelling at us, and it's like it's too much noise. Says who? I do. It's too loud. No, it's not. It's too loud for me, Carmen. And I'm oh sitting in God. here. Oh my God! And you want a bigger TV? Well, the, well, that has nothing to do with the sound, Carmen. Well, if we get a bigger TV, we're going to turn it up even louder. That's not true. That's just what's going to happen. <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> and it's going to go in the bedroom. No. Okay, so we've been, you've been uh, really harping on this television in the bedroom. I never had a bedroom without a television. That's well, you weird. have, though. I've seen you have two bedrooms without televisions. No, but I still have my phone to look at videos and things like that. Well, you'll have your phone at the next place, too. I'm just saying. I would prefer to have a TV. Uh-huh. Like, I don't know. You don't like to sleep with any noise or light. Like, you're one of those people who want it pitch black. And I want it dark. And no noise except right. for your audio book. Yeah. And I'm like, um, yeah. I leave the door cracked a little bit, and mm -hmm. you're like, close the door. Yeah. It's like Kirk, it's just a little bit of light. Yeah, and you fabricated this uh, symptom of having the I door. I did not. Of having the door uh, uh, closed that makes your nose stuffy. It apparently. does every time. <laughs> no every way. time the door is closed, it make my. It ain't enough <laughs> air circulating That's in there. That's crazy. The fan's going. It's, it's circulating. Not, it's not. It's good moving enough. everywhere. <laughs> it makes my nose. The bedroom is so small oh, that there's no way the air's so not moving up. around. Oh, it's the craziest thing. No, it really does though. The, if the door is closed all night, well, like, once you go to bed, the door goes open. I know it does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As soon as you go to bed, and it's like, I'm going to crack this door. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to kill me in here. <laughs> Sometimes I have to go to bed at 8 and eight at night so I can get in there with the door shut. Mm -hmm. Get my, my door shut time and, you know, maybe fall asleep. <laughs> You're funny. You just have your – everybody have their little things that mm. – they like right. and that's just one of yours it's funny it don't really bother me that much but my nose do get stuffy in there if the uh -huh. door is closed um yeah so this has been um i think this past week has been a little bit interesting with all the little things i've been reading online and like all those things like what like uh they're coming out with a uh, the new bad boys movie i think they're going ahead with that okay and they had they had definitely sealed the deal before the slap, right? And then that kind of put that movie into question, right? But, but then at I the think same time, Michael not... Bay, who directed the first two movies, he said that he's like, yeah, I would make it a, a a new movie with Will Smith. I kind of like okay. I mean, uh, whatever. He slapped Chris Rock. Like now he don't make movies no more because he slapped the person. Like, mm -hmm. is it that serious? Like. The grand scheme of things, people are on their phone all the time. Those YouTube shorts, those Facebook shorts, Instagram, all those shorts that people be watching mm -hmm. on the internet about other people getting slapped and beat up on the street and mm -hmm. all this stuff. 
and then y'all make the biggest deal. Like the same people making a big deal is going through those shorts, looking at them fucking mm -hmm. fights and stuff on videos. Right. That's not a big deal. Right. But because who it was and where it was, right. I can't believe you would do that. Yeah. Like Jim Carrey, shut up. <laughs> yeah, Jim Carrey. Nobody who asked thing. you. Nobody even cared well, about no, you. Well, no, they did ask him though. Well, don't ask Jim Carrey. <laughs> but they did ask him. Oh, God. The Sonic movie was coming out, and he yeah. was being on all the talk shows, so they asked him, and he said, oh. It's like, boy, you He be, said, they're not the cool kids anymore. You be in a dark closet somewhere until a, a random movie pop you out, and then you just want to, uh -huh. like, where did because you- he wants to be a painter now. Yeah. Right, so where'd you come from putting in your two- Don't be putting in your two cents. You should have been like, I ain't got nothing to say about that. Mm-hmm. Because I'm not even in light no more right now unless I want to. Yeah. I mean, he's always going to be a big deal, Jim Carrey. Right. Uh, whenever he wants to do a movie, I'm sure he can do one. But, like, he does his own thing now. So, mm -hmm. like, don't be commenting on stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That was disgusting. And, like, shut up. <laughs> like, he didn't slap you. Right. <laughs> so, it's silly. And, you know, I got to watch that Dave Chappelle interview on it talking to will smith because mm -hmm. it probably was funny because dave Chappelle can't control himself like he just be asking funny stuff sometimes right <laughs> i just didn't watch it because i'm sick of the whole situation but mm -hmm. i am happy about the bad boys four movie yeah, yeah you like the third one sure <laughs> and kind of it was okay yeah they're old now yeah this is like trying to hold on to something that was great at one point yeah. but it's just not you the can, same there's one scene where like will smith is running and then you can like clearly tell that it's not him yeah. You know, and it's like just some guy in his 20s. Yeah. Like Will Smith can't run like that anymore. No. I don't care how much you run in Dubai with a, you know, a, a little like quadcopter following you and you're dancing around. But you can't move like you're 20 still. Mm -mm. You're an old man. Mm hmm. It's crazy. Yeah. Like, it, um, I guess it depends on who you are because there are some people who are older that can still run that way, who can still do that. But that's people who are doing that on a daily basis mm -hmm. like Joe Rogan was just on there and he was explaining his regimen and the, the vitamins and the things that he take uh, to help his body from you know aging to help to keep him strong and keep him still but Joe Rogan fit. definitely looks his age he looks his age <laughs> but he's probably stronger than somebody a normal person his age okay I, I mean just because he puts so much stuff in his body and like tries his hardest to be healthy but uh, he was saying, you know, the one thing you got to do, you got to lift weights. Lift heavy weights if you want to stay young. He was like, if you want to feel young, you got to get those muscles moving. You can't just be sitting there. You got to do something. He was like, you, your muscles start to, de um, what is it, degenerate? Deteriorate. Deteriorate, sorry. Okay. <laughs> He's like, your muscles start to deteriorate if you don't use them as you get older. He was like, you have to lift heavy things. You have to use the muscle or it's going to just deteriorate. And what he says kind of makes sense. But it's like, man, people be tired. Like, I don't feel like doing that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, nobody wants to do that. Yeah. He got all the money. So he just paid, he could just pay people to do all that stuff for him. Yeah, um, that's the thing. We watched a uh, documentary on uh, uh, Jennifer Lopez. Mm -hmm. It was like, a, it was basically like a snippet of like her year, like when uh, Hustlers came out. Mm hmm. And then she did the halftime show. Mm -hmm. And like you see like the team of people around her mm -hmm. doing the things that like another, a normal person would do for her, mm -hmm. you know? And that's why she gets to work out all the time and do all this stuff. Like, mm -hmm. like here, a, hold my child. Yeah, like, hold, oh, okay. Yeah, do you have my, she always had like a bedazzled cup. Yeah. All, all over the place and it's like you have these people so you know whenever you think of somebody like a, a Jennifer Lopez like their job is to look a certain way yeah and they are able to do that because they also don't do the things that normal people do right right so you're not gonna have like a nine to five you know with two kids at home and you know all that stuff and then have the body like a Jennifer Lopez no no it doesn't work like that no like she she don't gotta go grocery shopping mm -hmm. or anything like that like right. it's pretty simple um I, it's funny that you say that because I was just watching the Kardashians and they were the mom and uh Kylie was hanging out and uh she was like, let's go to the grocery store. And she was like, oh, my God, I haven't been to the grocery mm -hmm. store in years. Yeah. And it was like, yeah, we never get to go to the grocery store. And then, like, 
they went to the grocery store and like went shopping and picked up all their own food and stuff mm-hmm. like that. But they still had to call the grocery store. They had to have somebody call ahead of time, uh-huh. make sure nobody was in there because they don't right. want to be hassled. Why? So it still was a, a mm-hmm. weird experience, but they were just so happy that they were able to actually physically see their own food and pick it up instead mm-hmm. of somebody else doing it for them. Right. It's like. Oh my God! I would love to have a life to where grocery shopping is not something I ever it's, think about. That's an option for you. Yeah, you that's know? an option. You can't. You just, other how, people get. Your how many groceries? times did you go to the grocery store this week? Oh, me? Yeah. Like twice. Yeah, I went twice this week too. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, we haven't been in years. Yeah, well, right? how is the food getting there? Because yeah. somebody's doing it for you. Yeah, they got Steve. He goes out there and he gets the groceries. But can you imagine, like, when you go in, into the grocery Steve, store? Steve, can you pick me up some better mangoes, please? These are just not. They're not doing it for me. <laughs> but you can't. But, like, there's always new products and things coming out at the grocery store. So you might be in there, and you don't even go there for that. And you're like, right. oh, that's pretty cool. And you pick that. Like, yeah. you lose that when you send other people. Yeah. I'm not going to notice that they have birthday cake Oreos. Right. You know? They do. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> they've got a Neapolitan Oreo right now. Boy, you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds horrible. <laughs> You know the pink gross. flavor is gonna be the nasty gonna be pretty one. Gross, yeah, yeah. But they do have it. I got vanilla Oreos right now. Ugh. But uh, I don't know. Like, yeah, this they do. You do lose that. Mm-hmm. That you don't get to go there and see all the new stuff. Right. Like, what is Steve coming back and saying? You know, they got those Oreos. So, like, no, he ain't saying yeah, that. He's no. like, here's the list. Here's and the then, stuff. Yeah. Oh, I forgot this because this wasn't like. They didn't have it. They didn't have that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they were all out of gum. <laughs> oh my god my mom used to get so fucking pissed off like she would always send tony to the store because he's the oldest mm-hmm. and he never would come back with all her shit and she would get so mad like every time i fucking send you you don't come back with all my stuff mm-hmm. and he's like like at some point i think he was scared to go to the store for her because right. nothing he did was ever it's good like you're enough. gonna fail he you knew know? he was going to <laughs> <laughs> when i was on catalina there was this uh uh, at the end of the week you had to clean out like the dining hall mm-hmm. you know and every week we would get yelled at they had these big giant windows yeah and we had to clean the windows every week we would get and, and they were like two stories high mm-hmm. every week we'd get yelled at about these windows like how are we supposed to clean it <laughs> and it took like half the day we had a whole list of the kitchen to break down mm-hmm. you know and then it was just like i knew i knew i i was gonna get yelled at that next monday because mm-hmm. that was always on a sunday Mm -hmm. And then the dining hall floor, it always looked bad. Every time, it just looked bad. It's too large. Too big. Yeah. You got to change out your bucket like four times. Mm -hmm. It's the last thing you do for the day. And you're just, you know, you're doing it fast because you want to get it done with. Yeah. That was rough. Yeah, you got to sweep the entire floor first and then all that. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes, like, when I was in there, they'd be like, fuck the sweeping. Just Mm -hmm. mop it. Just mop it. I'm like, it's food in the corners. (laughs) Children drop things. There's goldfish over there. It's cherry tomatoes on the floor. (laughs) And you just going to mop it? Uh It's like, don't feel like doing it. Not today. And sometimes you, like, and that's what employers and stuff don't realize. Sometimes it's like, if the task is too large, it's Mm -hmm. like, Fuck it. When it's, it's beca- when it's daunting. Right. You know? It's like, like, nobody wants to do that. Like, we signed up to come to this nice camp and do this stuff. And, like, now we got to do this. I'm mm-hmm. like, this is absolutely atrocious. Nobody yeah. wants to do this. Yeah. It's, it's like, like the end of the week and it's the biggest job. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's kind of. Speaking of daunting, last week, maybe the week before. Mm-hmm. I think it was the week before because it spent a lot. Cuphead, the delicious last course. Mm-hmm. was released it's the expansion mm-hmm. the downloadable content for Cuphead mm-hmm. don't deal with the devil mm-hmm. and I uh, I played the original game I beat the story you know I didn't perfect everything but I did beat the story you mm-hmm. know? I went further than a lot of people did I was pretty proud of that mm-hmm. and, I and then what happened what happened after you won did you buy yourself the shirt yeah you don't even get a free shirt? No, you don't get a free shirt. Oh. You got to buy the shirt. Yeah, I bought a shirt. It was like my little celebratory, you know, uh, fit. Mm-hmm. Is that what they call that? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, um, I died trying to beat the game 2,070 times. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was uh, texting with a buddy of ours. 
And I was like, yeah, it uh, took us, took me 2,070 times to beat the original game. The expansion pack just came out. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to start playing that. A lot of people are saying that all the bosses are as hard because it's just a game of bosses. So all the bosses are as hard as some of the hardest ones in the original game mm -hmm. of this new expansion. Mm -hmm. But I beat it, Carmen. I beat it, and I only died like maybe 700 times. And that's yeah. and that's why people don't do it because that's the daunting task of beating the game where you just keep playing the game you just got to keep doing doing it and doing it yeah but because nobody wants to keep failing over and over and mm -hmm. over again it's like I'm one of those people like if it's too hard I just give up mm -hmm. like when it comes to specific things like a video game and you just can't beat it it's like all right, right. I quit this ain't for me yeah we're, I gotta stress myself out and keep losing no. we're on the second level of it takes two which is a uh, a oh game about God. a couple and uh they have got to work together i to like the game <laughs> make their daughter happy or something and they're like these little figurines yeah. and you can't get past the second boss because you can't figure out how to dodge the the, the nails coming down <laughs> yeah that shit was getting me so worked up that i was like we got to step away from this uh -huh. because i'm getting too worked up with yeah. this game and you was like you want me to let's switch you do my part i do uh -huh. your part i'm like i couldn't do your part either <laughs> you couldn't i was either like we stuck at this point uh -huh. it's no going further right. we've already tried so many times and i can't figure it out so mm -hmm. it's like you just give up yeah so now I can't because you have to play it with a partner. Mm -hmm. now I can't play it anymore. No, we could play Overcooked. Yeah, I guess we could. <laughs> yeah. uh, maybe once we beat Overcooked, then we can go back to that one. Mm -hmm. It takes two and try no, again. it's be too far now. Yeah, you've got to relearn how to do stuff. I remember back in the day, you could rent games from uh, Blockbuster. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, they my brothers used to always get games from Blockbuster. The, there was a uh, game called Boulder's Gate Dark Alliance. Mm -hmm. It was like a Dungeons and Dragons type game, mm -hmm. you know, a dungeon crawler. And uh, there is this part in the game where you have to jump across this thing with these stones. Mm -hmm. And once you jump onto the stone, it, it gives you like two seconds to jump to another stone mm -hmm. and then it'll fall off. Mm -hmm. And I was playing the game with my dad, co op. And uh, we couldn't get past this one section of jumping through the stones. <laughs> and we went through like the last like two days of the rental trying to get past this one stone jumping thing. Couldn't do it. And then like a couple months later, uh, got the game, didn't rent it, like bought it, right? And then it was the first try. We made it across the, the stones. Mm hmm <laughs> Maybe you just need and to then take like a the break ending of it. the game was like right there, so kind of like if we would have made it like on the first day, we would have beat the game and probably not have bought it. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. <laughs> it's silly. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean we played. I mean we played Crash Bandicoot again and we beat that. Mm -hmm. The first one. Mm -hmm. We didn't make it past the second one yet. No. We kind of lost interest. Yeah. There was yeah, a, definitely. There was a time. Well, we were both working nights at the time. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of easier to uh, do something like that in the daytime mm -hmm. before you go to work. That's one of the advantages of working at night is mm -hmm. you have the time before you go to work to do stuff. You feel energized. You're all If you work first and then you come home, you're kind of like, oh, just kind of waiting to go to bed, you know? Yeah. I, I mean, not necessarily, but... That's how I feel. When... And um, I don't get anything done when I have mornings off and I work nights uh -huh. because I'm waiting to go to work. And that right. feeling of waiting to go yeah. to work is like you can't really go do nothing. You got to make it quick because, you know, you got to be there at this time. It's like mm -hmm. that is horrible. Well, I'd rather do work first thing in the morning and be done with it. Mm -hmm. So I'm liking the morning stuff just because I had the rest of the day and I'm done with work so early. Right. But, yeah, working at night, like. I'm used to doing nights, and I'm sure I'll have to go back to it at some point. But like, man, I hate waiting to go to work. That's mm -hmm. the that's the uh, most annoying feeling ever. <laughs> it's like, okay, how many things can I get done before I have to start getting ready to go to work? Right. It's like, and, and then, then if you do too much, you go to work tired. Yeah. Right. Then I'm about to be late. You feel like I've been working all day. Then I'm gonna be late because I waited to the last minute to do anything. I just lounged around for hours. I hang. I feel like I don't get nothing done when I work nights. Cause in uh -huh. the mornings I just bullshit around until I gotta go to work. Right. It's like, oh man. 
<laughs> That's my own fault, but whatever. So today at work in this last week, we uh, have a lot of children right now that's in the hotel and now I worked on an island so like I know little tricks with kids and things Mm -hmm. like that I know like depending on the age like there's a bunch of variables when it comes to children and food um but yeah like some of the people there they don't understand that so like they make silly mistakes because they don't understand how children work I'm Mm -hmm. like all right, so you have a three year old at the table that plate is hot Mm -hmm. don't give children hot plates it's just it's a three year old mm-hmm. you have to give them a cold plate so I, I didn't even think of that I'm like yeah they'll burn themselves they're mm-hmm. little <laughs> it's like they don't understand don't touch that it's hot right. or like this kid today we have these new plates that just came in and they have like the speckles on them you know what I mean mm-hmm. it looked like somebody put pepper on it or a, se- a seasoned plate or right. something it's just a design yeah and this kid was like, absolutely yeah, like, not. I don't, like that I don't want my food on that. It's stuff on that plate. And it's like, that's just how the plate look. And he freaked out. And then the girl comes back over. She's like, hey, I'm sorry. Can you put this on another plate? This kid is freaking mm-hmm. out. The mom doesn't know what to do. And it's like, girl, tell your kid, no, you eat it or you don't eat. Mm-hmm. Or you go in the car and you sit in the hot car till we done. Right. <laughs> it's like, so they can either eat off of the speckled plate or they cook in a car? That's your solution? I mean, if you're going to be acting a fool in a restaurant, <laughs> we're not about to be sitting here having this conversation. I'm not about to have no conversation with no four-year-old. Are you crazy? Go sit in the Carmen, hot car. It doesn't like the 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 plate Don't with the spots then. on it. We, I, we, didn't, we didn't have that option. It was, it was like you eat what you get Mm -hmm. like i'm sorry do you know how to cook do you have money to buy food you get what you get my dad never was like sit at that table or you're not getting dessert till you ate this he'd be like you're just gonna be hungry then looking stupid i don't Mm -hmm. care you want to be hungry eventually you'll get hungry enough you eat it Mm -hmm. like he never it was never an issue you just like kids are supposed to be seen not hurt Mm -hmm. that's it you just shut up eat what's in front of you and then that's it and we had these other kids and the one lady ordered her kids a smoothie split. Mm-hmm. And then the other lady, because there was like a bunch of friends that went out. And then the other lady, she ordered her kids a smoothie. But she said, just give them another cup and they'll split it. Mm-hmm. Well, when the, the two smooth, the other kids on the other side of the table had smoothies split. And when the kids saw that, they were like, well, why are theirs in two cups and ours is in one? And she wants us to split it ourselves. Mm-hmm. They had a whole complete meltdown at the table because their smoothie wasn't split mm-hmm. and the girls like I had to get out of there I just ran away from mm-hmm. it <laughs> like, like kids are weird you gotta be careful you can't put pepper on their food they'll freak out right. like just all these little little tricks that I've been trying to show the guys I work with because it'll stop you from shit getting sent back because what if you have a, like a friend you know you grew up with their friend mm-hmm. and you both have like kids at the same time Mm-hmm. You know, you're like, wow, our kids could be friends. Mm-hmm. But what if those kids don't like each other? Then they ain't going to be friends. Then they're not going to be friends. I mean, that- so technically they would t- <laughs> they kind of grow up like your cousins or like something like that uh-huh. when you're close like that. But, yeah, that is a big possibility. <laughs> Wouldn't that be like a weird scenario? Yeah. It's yeah. had to have happened before, right? It's definitely has happened before. <laughs> For sure it's happened before. Uh, I'm sure we've had situations like that mm-hmm. growing up where it's like, mm. I don't yeah, like that. she coming over again? Like, damn. Uh-huh. <laughs> right. I remember my, my uncle had, uh, you know, he always with different women, and he had these two kids by the, the lady. And, like, I don't know, the daughter was just weird. Like, she was just mm-hmm. kind of a loner, always stared off. She probably had um, some type of... ADHD mm-hmm. or one of them things but back in the day nobody mm-hmm. like he just hyper it's right. like give him something for that right. <laughs> just let him run around and jump around like that do y'all got some medicine for him mm-hmm. now you know everything is diagnosed and they get a pill right. for this pill for that but yeah like man she weird like why she coming over again like can you tell him not to bring his kids this time mm-hmm. we don't want to be friends with them. right <laughs> but like we had no choice because it's my it's uncle. A kid. yeah yeah so it's like you just have to deal with it mm-hmm. it's like man I had to share my toys, all this stuff. Mm-hmm. Like <laughs> with that weird old girl just yeah, staring off to her. Just staring stuff. in the space, staring at people. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's like somebody come get her. Right. Oh my God. That's so that's so ridiculous. Um 
But then I was, so I did that at work. It's like I said, it's been a bunch of kids in the hotel and they're all particular. I think it's kind of funny a little bit. But um, after that, I'm walking home. And then I walk past a lady who lives next to Walgreens, mm-hmm. the Walgreens lady. Mm-hmm. And I, I look at her and I'm like, your best friend, your best. Don't say that. That's my best friend. I just see I, every time I'm walking home, she's sitting on the porch. We always speak to each other. Mm-hmm. So I'm looking at her and like she looks out of it. Like she's like eyes are blinking, faces like flushed. I'm mm-hmm. like, what? I'm like, you okay? She was like, I had eight Heinekens. I was like, oh. Mm-hmm. She was like, eight big Heinekens. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. Well, have the a nice day. Yeah. I was like, have a nice day. Mm-hmm. And then I just walked off. I'm like, she is sitting outside in the sun, just like blinking, rocking back and forth. I'm like, you need to go in the house. Yeah. You look crazy out here. Right. <laughs> Girl. Yeah. Eight Heinekens. I don't do it. That's, I don't drink. That's 16 I mean, Heinekens. I mean, I've never. Ones. I know. She's just sitting there by herself doing it. <laughs> right. Like, not watching TV, not just sitting outside, out. smoking cigarettes, and yeah. just drinking those right Heinekens. Right next to the pile of cigarettes. Right. <laughs> Blinking all out of it. Mm-hmm. I'm like, she's like, yeah, I had eight big Heinekens. I was like, oh, why'd you buy eight? <laughs> like, do you really need eight big Heinekens? I don't know. I think that at she... At one thirty and at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> I think she knows what she's doing. Yeah? You know, I think she's got her bodily science down to get the effect that she's looking for. Yeah, that's probably true. So... I mean, who am I to judge? It's like a little bit less than that. You wouldn't be looking so crazy, though. Right. All you gotta do is do yeah, two Yeah, but you less. wouldn't get that feeling that she's looking for, Carmen. I know, That's the but thing. like that, that cannot be a good feeling. What, what gets me to the level I'm trying to get to? Yeah. <laughs> I can't have seven. Seven's not enough. Maybe six, maybe eight is too much, you know? But maybe if I had seven and then a small Heineken, I'd oh be Oh, my good. God. That's ridiculous. But you can't really buy a singular seven eighth heineken i don't know i've never drank heineken okay i've never i don't well you know you go to the nasty beer you you go to the uh you go to the gas station and then the only thing you can get in singles are 24 ounce cans right Mm -hmm. so so she just went and just bought all the damn the whole row yeah damn girl is heineken (laughs) expensive more expensive than like uh, Milwaukee's best. Yeah, <laughs> it's like what level are we on? What right. level is? But Heineken maybe, on? maybe it was on sale here. They I don't even see Milwaukee's best here. No, it's not here. It's Natty Daddy's. Mm-hmm. That's the Milwaukee's best. Mm-hmm. Natty Daddy's. Yeah, blue can. Mm-hmm. All over the place, all along the street. Natty Daddy's. Oh everywhere. my god, because it's the cheapest. Natty is like a dollar thirty nine for a twenty four ounce can. Mm-hmm. So they go in and they like scrape, they change off the street, and then they like here, you go, I'll get that Natty Daddy. Mm-hmm. Like, what what was it? It was maybe a month or two ago, and I was walking to work, and it's early. It's like six in the morning. The store just opened. The guy was already waiting outside the store to go in. Mm-hmm. He comes in the store. There was like. You too drunk. We can't sell you this. I'm like, it's six o'clock. <laughs> How are you that drunk at six o'clock that like they're like, we can't sell you this. Mm-hmm. You can barely talk and stand up. Like we can't sell this to you. Right. And he was like, All right, I'll go across the street and try. Mm-hmm. They not gonna sell it to you either because they're Maybe. gonna know You never know. You never know. You might get the young kid that yeah. just like let you pass by. I was like, okay. Yeah, not that old lady though. Oh no, she ain't letting you. <laughs> she ain't getting it to you. I know I'm trying to get out of the store We have a guy at a store by us Who talks so quickly mm-hmm. And so much And he talks so much it's, it's got, that's He a, talks fast and Quiet And says a lot uh, Yeah well, he, he talks fast but he also talks really quiet And he tries to get every single Everything. piece in He's like blah, 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 blah. Yeah I'll be out the door he's still talking mm-hmm. And I'm like I'm already gone the conversation's and always, over. And he's the guy, he always comments on what you're getting to. Yeah. Like, <laughs> he'll just, he'll like comment on everything. I bought a lottery ticket. The Mega Millions was at 400 mm-hmm. million, 400 and something million. Mm-hmm. So I got a ticket. He's like, winning ticket. Blah, blah, blah. And then he said something about JP Morgan. He's <laughs> like, come on, man. Like, just bring this uh, up. And and let I was me like, yeah, yeah. And then you, you give him like one of those, like, ha ha, you know, yeah, whatever. But I didn't really know what he said. 
So <laughs> he just be talking. Just I talk. just just nod and just go on with the day. Or this uh-huh. is like most of the time, like especially if I'm not in a mood for him, I come in on the phone already, like mm-hmm. noticeably talking. Right. Like the other day, I go in and I'm talking on the phone. I'm on the phone talking. Mm-hmm. He's commenting on things that I'm saying to <laughs> yeah. the person on the phone. Right. I'm ignoring it. And you then, just entered a three way call, Carmen. Like who? How dare you? You know I'm not talking into now. the air by myself. I'm uh-huh. not a weirdo. So why do right. why do you? And then he see my my debit card is a Mickey Mouse on there. He was mm-hmm. like, "Oh, I got a Disney joke. You want me to tell you?" I was like, "No, I'm on the phone." <laughs> yeah, he's got jokes for everything. I was like, "I'm on the phone." He's like, "Oh, sorry. You know I'm on the phone." Uh-huh. Why do you think that's okay to do those things? He's got to, a joke for you, Carmen. He just gotta be talking. Uh-huh. I'm like, boy. Like, he be at work three hours early, sleep in the car, waiting to go to work. Mm-hmm. It's like, well, I guess if you live in your car, you just drive up to work and sleep there. Never and be get late. Up. Never be late. He ain't never late because that right. lady, she ruled with an iron fist mm-hmm. and she ain't going to allow that. That's right. It's <laughs> funny. Yeah, that is pretty funny. It's really funny. What? Nothing. Are, is, are you good? Yeah, I mean, you're looking at me like you got a problem. No, I don't have a problem. Oh, you don't want to know what else that I'm um, excited What are you ab- absorbed about? in? I'm waiting on Big Brother. It's already on. The new one? Yeah. We don't watch it? Nah. Yee. You can You can watch it. I'm no, not. I think we should watch it together. It's no. a together show. It, it's not a celebrity Big Brother. I don't want to watch it. You only want to watch Celebrity I Big Brother. I only want to watch Celebrity Big Brother. Well, Celebrity Big Brother is shorter. Right. And it's only a few weeks. It's only a few it's weeks. It's like a month. And the characters, you already kind of know them a little bit. Yeah, so you know the people. Funny. Chris you, Kattan on that last one. I couldn't oh, deal with man. Chris Kattan. I, I was it. like, somebody need to help him. <laughs> he's like, Mon Juan. I was like. The, the Mon Juan hat. He's mm-hmm. wearing this bag on his. Oh, it was great. I loved it. He was like, he. I was scared for him the whole time. Mm-hmm. I was like, y'all, he going to hurt himself on here. He yeah. looked like, what's wrong with him? Uh, and he's. He said that he got into something he broke his neck or something and he's just not been right after that yeah he yeah. looked like his head about to fall off mm-hmm. it was like why y'all got him on here jumping on stuff like how many times did you see him like fall, yeah, over? fall over i was like yeah, he just looked bad he looked real bad and then who who won oh he was eating that cake too it, it wasn't <laughs> he was eating that willis cake. did willis win or he came close came close i believe uh-huh. i think he won <laughs> what was what was his name todd bridges he uh his photo for the thing he like 20 years younger than, <laughs> than what he actually looked like he actually it's looked like, like todd why you submit that photo to you <laughs> and you don't even look like you look like a completely different dude like mm-hmm. <laughs> like, so funny oh my god and then remember they were trying to vote him out just because he snored too much yeah who was it was it chris katan yeah it was, chris it was katan. like yeah i yeah. vote for him yeah and it like, was like <laughs> dude we're playing a game like yeah. it's and a chris ga- katan didn't know anybody's name mm-hmm. like he just is like off in his own world and he just wanted to sleep it's like why you come on that show <laughs> and then he kept the getting cake. up and it was like he's eating all the cake he's eating all the cake yeah the uh i mean nobody cared that much about cake to uh-huh. like these people could buy cake it's not like they like oh i need that cake yeah but he wanted that he cake. wanted the cake it was carson he was eating with his hands at one point he uh-huh. didn't care like he was like we not sharing this. i guess that's chris Catan's cake they said yeah yeah <laughs> he, with his hands. he just completely forgot like <laughs> hey they made it for everyone to right. have some not for just you right but he just like he was like nervous eating or something uh-huh. it was something weird he was doing yeah, i don't know but that was great and then you know you got tom green on the on the first season of the celebrity yeah. big brother and he's like man do you guys not realize that like he got all the athletes mad at him Everybody was mad at like him. like Lolo Jones yeah, and then I hate her. the uh, WWE girl mm-hmm. and then the football player. Mm-hmm. They were all mad at him, and he's like, "Don't they realize it's a game? Like it's a competition. Like we're not supposed to be." But he was he's smart. Like Tom Green's like a smart guy. Yeah, <laughs> and so he's he like winning. Rub- all, he's winning all these competitions and stuff. They couldn't get rid of him. No, they, he was rubbing them all the wrong way. Mm-hmm. But I didn't like that Lolo Jones because what is she a runner? Yeah. Okay, so you're an athlete. You're a woman athlete. You about strong as hell, girl. You look like a man. You're huge. Mm-hmm. She's a big girl. 
I feel like she bullies the other girls because mm-hmm. she knows that like like she can beat them up. Mm-hmm. And she knows like in a fight she's going to win and and like at the end of the day like I'm going to intimidate you because I'm larger than you. Right. And it's like you're the type of girl that you want people to feel bad for you when a guy knock you out. But these girls can't fight you. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be a guy who knock you down one day. And then you're going to be looking dumb. Mm-hmm. It's like, I don't know. I don't like, I feel like she bullies the the like, other girls. Yeah, girls. she's like the way she talk and the way she, and then she was on a challenge too. Mm-hmm. That really was done with her after the challenge. She freaked out because she couldn't win a competition on a challenge and quit. Mm-hmm. It's like, dude, you're supposed to be an all-star and you just quit because you couldn't win. Right. It's like, this is not fair. Everyone's winning and I haven't won one. And mm-hmm. then she quit. Right. And so, so she's a champion, Carmen. So she has. She's like, I have to win. I have to beat all them. And it's like, but this ain't th- the same thing that you mm-hmm. used to. Yeah. And these people have been doing this for a long time. They got like puzzles and they do stuff right. like that. Did you and, practice on them puzzles yeah, before you, you came? On the puzzles, and they're so stupid. Their they're puzzles. silly ones. Some of the <laughs> yeah. puzzles are pretty difficult too, though. Well, I mean, like one is like they got to like stack mm-hmm. this thing, and then it has levels, and then they mm-hmm. all have to be at the same. And then they're on a beach, and it's windy, and then it blows off, and I don't know. It's, or like putting shape inside they're like kindergarten puzzles it is but they (laughs) but the problem is when you didn't ran for a mile and then you have to do that that's what it's like your brain is like like sometimes if i get too overheated or like i overexert myself whether Mm -hmm. it's running or whatever like that my eyesight will start like being a little bit blurry like my brain is not of course so to try to do a puzzle after that Mm -hmm. i lose that every single time right like, I wouldn't be able to do them puzzles after I run a mile yeah. or two miles. The puzzles I'd be okay with, but it's the memorization stuff I couldn't do. I, couldn't I do would. I that. could. Okay, this is a this is a embarrassing one because they a lot of them they be messing up on the math. Mm-hmm. It's like, and I'm looking at it and I'm like, obviously I can do that math. That's right. super easy. Like it's forty eight or such and such, and they're like, cannot figure out like small like problems, small mm-hmm. division problems or small like. And it's like, that got to be embarrassing Mm because some of those people on the challenge, people are like, he can't add. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, he's not good at math. And like the whole world know you're not good at math now. Right. Because you couldn't figure out how to do (laughs) eight times 17 or something. Right. It's like, you ain't got a pen to like carry the one or nothing like that. Can't do it. Yeah. You have to do it different. You have to break it down. Like mm-hmm. 10 times 8 is 80, 7 times 8, and then you add it together. You ever see those uh, videos of how they teach uh, division in, like, other countries? No. Like, it's pretty interesting. You should check it out. Like, other, how other countries solve math problems. Yeah. Like, they have, like, completely different systems than we do. Yeah. It's pretty wild. It's pretty neat. It's probably better. Yeah. I feel like our system, I don't know. Like, right now, can you do long division? No. If I if we it, wrote down a long division decimals? problem, oh, you throw the decimals in. With then, decimals, then it started getting a little bit weird. It, I ain't did that if in a it while. didn't if it didn't have a decimal in it, I could probably do it. You could do a basic long division problem. I think so. Okay, we're gonna do it after this. Okay. <laughs> Me and Latrice Just, spent a long time working on that. We uh-huh. it was like, girl, we don't know how to do division no more. And then we like practiced for like a whole day and got back like mm-hmm. comfortable with doing basic division. Right. Like, girl, we stupid. How we can't divide this problem? Yeah, if you don't use it, you lose it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I think that's it. All right. All right, thank you guys for watching another episode of the Sweet Gravy Podcast. If you have any questions or suggestions, please go to sweetgravypod at gmail.com. You can also check us out on YouTube and every other streaming platform. Awesome. Thank you. Bye-bye.